The Art of Screen Printing. And eventually we'll get to the other concrete texture that we have in there, and then we can move on from there. So just like the brushed metal, just like the marble, I found a concrete texture, um, and it had, similar to the other ones, it had extra, it had extra information that I did not need. I just needed these pits in the concrete. So using levels, I reduced the information that was lighter, and then I darkened up the pits in this concrete so that I could use it. And again, notice this is on a channel. You can see my channel over here, because um, I can do all my manipulation much easier here. Once I get that all finished, we apply it to our actual layers. Let's go back over there. Now you can see this is the, the this texture has been now moved from a channel to a layer, and you can see that it now is on the ring. Now I don't have the other ones turned on, but let's go ahead and turn those on so we can see everybody together. Now when I zoom up on this, there's so much going on here, um, and this is why layering is so important in something like this because if you had to if you had this flattened out and then you had to go into the separation process, you would need to try to figure out how to get all these light and dark values to pull away from each other. And that will make your job incredibly harder to do. Unless you're a, a, unless you're a separator expert, then no problem. But I would say for the most part, a lot of people are not really familiar with this process of using channels. But again, using layers, that's not uncommon. But when you do it like this, it will make your separation process much simpler. Granted, maybe all the details of this will not necessarily be in the final print, but all the values of light and shadow and the color changes will be represented. And that's what you care about most. Mind you, this is only a half inch wide on this ring, but these are all going to show up and they did show up quite nicely in our final print. So I would always encourage, no matter what you're working on, whether it's a half inch wide or it's a three inch wide, Always work your layers out and your details so that you can edit very easy so, and you're not trying to fight against yourself with all the things that you're applying. Because I'm a little bit of a crazy person. I like to have a lot of textures on things. And so but this is the best way to do it because you're considering production as well as just creating artwork. So always keep that in mind. Using channels to get your information to extract and then go ahead and use them on your layers to create the color composition of what you're working with.